All right, I'm almost done editing this video. Wait, Shit, I forgot to record an intro. Oh, hello! What you're gonna be watching now is the unboxing and demo of the Orange Micro Dark and the Bugera Cab. Anyway, I have videos clipped lined up of me in the past, so let's go. I'll see you at the end of the video. Hi YouTube from the future, it is Justin from Monday, July 2nd, and I got a bit excited. I unboxed the guitar cabinet and I totally forgot to grab the GoPro because I was so excited. So let me show you the box and let me show you what came in the box. But first, let's see how our new video editor is doing. How's it going, Mjolnir? Good. Alright, so this is the box that my new guitar cabinet came in. That's right, it is a Bulgara 112TS with a 12 inch turbo sound speaker. This is the front of the box, I'm not going to bother showing you the back because all it is is just a picture of what the cabinet looks like from the back, which I'll get to eventually. And then this is the side of the box, it comes with all, so it's all the features on it which includes being lightweight, durable, world famous British engineered 12 inch turbo sound speaker like I said, and 80 watts. And then on the other side is just all your technical information from what it looks like. Nothing really that exciting. Now to show you the actual cabinet itself. And as you see, nice Bugera logo right on front. It is a lightweight? Yes it is. As you see down here it says the turbo sound speaker. And on the back you have your normal, I struggled there because I wasn't expecting to pick it up, but you have your place where you can put your speaker cable. Speaker cable, not instrument cable, don't do that. Along with many screws to change the speaker if you want to. Side, this is what the other side looks like too. And once again the front. If you want reference of how big this guitar cabinet is, let's put this spoons right next to it. And if that's not good enough for you, let's put this acoustic guitar right next to it also. And as you can see, it's not really that big, it's about the same size as this acoustic guitar, especially if we put everything right by the side, which will go great with the amp head that we're getting. And the amp head I'm getting for this Bugera cab is the Orange Micro Dark, which you could have assumed by the title of this video. And yeah, so that is currently going to be arriving on Thursday because I got it through Reverb.com and is shipping from a place in Utah and it has to drive through about six days before it gets to me. So yeah, it's going to arrive Thursday. Hopefully nothing gets delayed. And yeah, so that's where we'll pick this video up. From Utah to Pennsylvania, the orange micro dark made its way here, hopefully safely. I haven't taken a look at what's inside here yet, even though it, the box is undone because we had shipped to my dad's place of work. He wanted to see, make sure everything came okay. Apparently everything did, but I haven't taken a look what's inside here yet. So let's go ahead and open her up. Now as you see, we have some nice little packing filler. It's not gonna look what's inside the box. We'll take all that out and I feel the box. Ooh. And as you can see right here, this is taped up. So I'm gonna put this on the table. Let me take the box off, put it on the table, bring the GoPro down here. Let's unbox this bad boy ourselves. All right, we have it open. Well, we don't have her open yet, but we undo the tape. Let's open her up. Register your brand new spanking new amp on orangeamps.com. We'll eventually do that. Here's some filler right here and some bubble wrap. Ah, yes, it works. That makes me happy. As you see right here, we have an adapter, the plug. And the adapter, as I said, let's put that on top of the cab, which my GoPro is stationed on so it doesn't shake. And here is the amp itself. Look at that. Anything else in the box? Just a warranty. That's the card thing. Orange. Inspected. Good. Alright, so let's see what this amp looks like on top of the Bugera. Isn't that cute? To give you a size comparison on how big the orange amp is, let me put my favorite mug right beside it. So it's about as tall as my Vidario mug. And to give you the how wide it is, let's put one of my favorite games at the moment, Skyrim Elder Scrolls V, right behind it. And it is the same 
the length. And now my GoPro needs to charge, and then we're gonna plug it in. So I will see you all then. All right, guys, we're at our little corner, and as you see, we have everything set up. And I'm almost about as tall as this now. Why am I not on the stool like I usually am, you might be asking yourself if you're not new to the channel. Well, if you're not new to the channel, yeah, that makes sense. So yesterday when I was messing around with this amp because I wanted to know what I was talking about before I made this demo, I was getting some unwanted bass frequencies, I tried adjusting some stuff, still get them, and I actually had this problem my Marshall Code 25 walked back there when I was doing the Seton Hill commercial band stuff, and how we fixed that problem there was we put the Marshall on a chair, and stop the unwanted bass frequencies. So I did the same. I put the Bugera cab on my stool. That's why I'm kneeling currently. And if you also notice, we have a mic set up. We're actually going to be miking our cab today, which is a bit new for me. I've only done this one other time with a 1x8 speaker, like a little tiny thing. So this is my first time with an actual speaker. And it's going straight into our Focusrite Scarlet Solo, going right into Ableton Live, where I'm looking at the audio right now. So let's preheat this baby while it gets ready. I'm going to read you the specs off of the box itself with the dude from hell. Yeah, there we are. It has a 12 AX7 preamp tube, and in that preamp, it has four stages. Clean, to crunch, to offensive. It also has a fully buffered effects loop and a cab sim in the headphone jack, which we will try out later. I couldn't get it to work yesterday in Ableton Live, but hopefully I can get it working today. So let's get on up, and the guitar we're going to be using today is the Chapman Guitars ML1 Norseman. Why? Because I have both humbuckers and I can split the coils, giving some coil tap settings for all you strap people out there. So let's plug her in. And I currently have the amp set to a clean channel with the gain at 3 o'clock, our shape knob at 12 o'clock, and our volume we're going to need to put at 11. Here's our, let's see if it gets sound. Yeah, we are good. And we're going to be starting off on our neck pickup, going through the metal, then the bridge, coil tap, neck, middle bridge. And we're going to be doing that with every single one of the tones. Now let's go to the middle. that's gonna be a bit more crunchy because this is more higher output than this one and now let's go back to our neck split the coil and here we are again <laughs> to the bridge. And now let's move to some more crunchy stuff. Let's put the gain 12 o'clock and we're going to put the volume at about, let's say, 7 o'clock because a person in the other room is napping. So. Let's, I should probably just crank it, wake the person up, but I'm going to be nice today. So let's uncoil, let's have this, let's go to our neck.
now we'll split the coils back onto our neck pickup. <laughs> position. straight to the high gain I turn the gain up to about three o'clock and then turn the volume down just a tiny bit yeah that should come in quite nice so let's go back to our neck pickup Bridge. Now let's go split those coils. Let me turn this one thing off in the monitor. There we are. Back to the neck. Go to the bridge. And now right here is where I'm going to show you what the shape knob does. Let's crank the volume just a tiny bit. It's a bit low in the monitor. But, so what the shape knob does, I describe it as, how do you like your mids? So if we go to the extreme side of it, so basically about five o'clock, we get a nice scooped medley sounds. <laughs> If we go to the other end, we have all the mids in the world. And so we're, it's, that's about it. It's just how you like your mids. So personally, I like it just scooped a tiny bit, so around one o'clock. <laughs> And yeah, so that's about all that. And now I'm going to switch guitars. We're going to get some metal up in here. All right, so as you see, I have swapped out my Chapman for my Schecter, all nice and detuned. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs>
right, so let's get in some heavy metal territory up in here. Let's see. <laughs> Just go to the neck pickup, see what happens with roll the volume down just a tiny bit. There we are. My volume's almost off, but we have a clean sound if you just roll it down. So now, there's one thing left to do, and that is to see if we can get the cab sim record in Ableton Live, and hopefully, I figured out how to do that now. Alright guys, so as you heard and saw, I was able to record the DI track from the Orange Micro Dark. What I had to do was I had to record out of the headphones jack because that's where the cab sim is and it went straight into the Focusrite Scarlet Solo just using a cable pedal. That would work just fine. And when I record the DI in Ableton Live, it didn't sound that good. Like for some reason, I don't think the cab sim was on. Maybe it was on and it just didn't sound that great. What I ended up doing to that track was I had to download some free software from Lancaster Audio, download some free cab sims, and I just did like some Marshall cab sims with this. And that's the tone I got. Who knows, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If I am, let me know down in the comments below. I tried researching, but everyone was like, oh, they aren't using Pulse software, that's why it sounds bad. Well, I tried using Pulse software, and that's how it sounded. But all in all, besides that, I absolutely love this little guy, and I love the Bugera cab too, but I can't hold that in one hand and show it off in this clip. I have some more videos planned with this bad boy before I go back to college. The first thing will be getting an EQ pedal and see if we can shape the tone of this even more without using the gain to shape or volume knob or the tone knobs in the guitar, that way we can get some more tone, like customize it a bit more, because like I, like I said, this is just your mid-range switch as I like to call it. And then the other video I have planned for this is just seeing how well it takes guitar pedals in general for my pedal board. And to make sure you see those videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification, like this video, share this video with your friends, cat, dog, family, grandma, post office guy, and subscribe to the channel. I'm pretty sure I said that, but subscribe anyway. So guys, I will see you next Monday, same time. Goodbye. And good night.